about the dangers of excessive debt, the dangers of perpe per perpetual debt, and yet we find ourselves with the highest level of debt to our GDP that we have had since World War II. Of course, the World War II generation came out of a literal battle, a war to save the world from imperialist Japan and Nazi Germany, which of course caused significant borrowing to fund that war, to fund that conflict. But that generation paid that debt down to a manageable level shortly thereafter. But here we are today with $32 trillion in debt, nearly $100,000 per American citizen. I've said that many times on this floor in committee hearings, in speeches, and in interviews, $100,000 per American citizen. One time when I said this on this very floor, it was opposite the then budget chairman from the other side, Mr. Speaker, and when his turn came to speak, he said, stop saying that. We're not asking anybody to pay it back as if it was not real, as if it was monopoly money, and if it didn't matter. However, the days of spending without consequence are now over. And I believe the American people are, being able, are beginning to connect the numbers, the stats, the dollars, what they hear about with federal spending, the deficit, and the national debt to their own very lives because the American people are suffering from 40-year high inflation. Matter of fact, the Consumer Price Index showed today that prices have risen 17% in the two and a half years since President Biden took office. That means $1,000 in 2020 is now worth just $832 today. Americans are experiencing record high inflation, 40-year high inflation, but it's even higher than the 17% for the essentials, for groceries, for gasoline in the tank, for utilities, and yes, for housing costs. The average mortgage today, the average mortgage today, the average mortgage payment is $1,218, $1,218, which is more than double what it was when President Biden assumed office. That is a direct result of the federal spending causing massive inflation, which was then reacted to by the Biden Fed that's raised interest rates to 20-year highs, further exacerbating the problem. My dear friends, this is important news. The Federal Reserve is expected to make a big announcement this month on inflation. Many economists are warning that any additional interest rate hikes could cause many Americans to fall behind on their monthly payments. But there is also another round of stimulus payments that are set to be automatically delivered throughout this fall. My dearest friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for all of the information. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. Every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway if you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dearest friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Also, at the end of today's video, I will be announcing the winners of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway. So make sure that you do stay tuned. Inflation has been a nagging problem for you as consumers for the past couple of years. And the Federal Reserve is determined to do something about it. The job of the Fed is to oversee monetary policy in the United States. And its goal is to create and maintain a stable economy. According to the Motley Fool, the central bank feels that rampant inflation is not at all conducive to that. That is why the Fed opted to raise interest rates 11 times over the past year and a half. When the Fed raises interest rates, it tends to drive the cost of borrowing upward. And when that happens, consumers tend to start spending less. A pullback in consumer spending is exactly what needs to bring inflation down. The Fed is set to meet again on September 19th and September 20th. And at that meeting, they will have a very tough decision 
either to raise interest rates for a 12th time since March 2022 or to let things be. The decision the central bank makes may impact your personal finances, so you want to stay tuned to see what happens. The Fed has come a long way in cooling inflation. In July, the Consumer Price Index, which measures changes in the cost of goods and services, was up just 3.2% on an annual basis. That is not far off from the 2% annual inflation rate that the Fed likes to target for the long term. But on the other hand, 3.2% inflation is not 2%. So the Fed may decide that another interest rate hike is in order to get closer to their goal. The extent to which you'll be impacted by these interest rate hikes will depend on whether you have plans to borrow money in the coming months. So if you intend to purchase a vehicle, you may get stuck with a higher interest rate on an auto loan if the Fed raises interest rates once again. If you're thinking of signing a personal loan, your costs could be higher there as well. And if you owe money on a credit card, another rate hike from the Fed could drive your monthly payments upward and that is something to brace for. New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grissom approved rebates for tax-paying New Mexico residents and economic relief in the form of stimulus payments. The rebate can account for as much as $1,000, which will go to married couples who file joint returns, heads of households, and surviving spouses. $500 will be made available to single filers, and married individuals who are filing separately. The rebate will be immediately sent to New Mexico residents, provided that they have completed a 2021 personal income tax return and are not declared as a dependent on another taxpayer's return. Eligible residents have until May 31, 2024 to file their 2021 tax return forms if they have not already done so. If you reside in New Mexico, and you already have, then that's great news. You do not have to do anything else to receive the rebate. Relief payments of $500 or $1,000 for residents of New Mexico who do not qualify for the above rebates has also been made available. If you owe state taxes, you are still eligible. Although the rebates may be used to offset liabilities for the 2021 tax year only, According to local reporters, if your banking information has changed since you filed your tax return, you will receive a check in the mail. As direct deposit rebates are based on the information you provided to the Taxation and Revenue Department on your 2021 tax form. Well, my beautiful and my most amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. My dearest friends, thank you so much for being part of this community and for joining me here on a daily basis. The winners of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Teresa Davis and Juanita Cosillo. Congratulations, my dearest friends. To claim your gift cards, please check your notifications page and send me a message. Or you could message me on my Facebook page. Thank you, dearish friends, and have a wonderful and very blessed weekend.